How's it going everyone? Today we're going to show you the garden, our garden, and do a walkthrough for the first time ever on yeah. our channel. Exciting. So we're up in the front yard and not traditional garden space, but this is kind of where we've always had flower beds, quote unquote. So we planted some marigolds up here. The kids planted some flowers and little pots. They've got their fairy and gnome gardens going on. And we're hoping it just kind of sparks some just beauty when we look out our front door and just kind of some joy. We have some really pretty lilies that are starting to come up. They're not blooming yet, but these are my favorite part of the garden usually. So it's nice to see some flowers already blooming. We also went ahead and we planted some not so typical things up here. We planted a tomato. We're hoping that we can collect seeds from this tomato. And the more and more research we're doing about seed collecting, we're realizing that our tomatoes can't be so close together if we're gonna collect seeds if we want them to keep the same variety. So we planted one up here just to be able to collect some seeds from it. And then these were the planter boxes that Matt made for the kids and they went ahead and they planted their flowers in it. We planted a few cucumbers on part of a cattle panel trellis we had laying around and we planted them pretty thick. We put three on here and it probably one or two would have been fine but we had three plants left over so we used them up in that way. As we're walking around to the back of our house, we planted things kind of in strange spots. We have another tomato over by the house here for collecting seeds from again, away from each other. And just kind of our big old hostas are all coming in. Off to the greenhouse. So this is the greenhouse. We, uh, we added some more stuff and we didn't get the other tarp yet, see this half, we did order it. We weren't sure we were going to need it at first and then it yeah. was, this one was up a few days and we're like, oh, it's already getting warmer. So yep. It hit the 90s a couple of times so we're like, let's just get it so we get past this top mark and then it should work. I mean, it, it works wonders already. So. so this is celery that we planted from the store. These were actually celery we just bought from the grocery store. We cut off the ends, put them in a little water, and after they had sat a few days, we planted them right in the greenhouse. And it's coming up. We've been enjoying it. We've been enjoying the celery leaves in our salads, kind of for a little flavor. And we had celery the other day. We made uh, egg salad. And I had a Bloody Mary. <laughs> It was good. Yeah. We joke that this is Matt's uh, Bloody Mary greenhouse because <laughs> there's everything growing in here for a Bloody Mary. Um, maybe not radishes. The next couple rows are radishes. We have one in the back that's pretty big. We're hoping to save for seed. And as well as all of those yellow onions are in here. So we're hoping they do well in the greenhouse. They're looking really great right now. In fact, I kind of want to just pick the tops and eat those. I planted a couple rows of spinach here. We have some more spinach in the back and I have a little bit of open spot left where I can plant some more spinach. We have some carrots that haven't popped up yet, but hopefully soon. And then right here, we have the marigolds out of those seeds I bought. And then down here we have snapdragons. And these, we don't know what it is. It's a mix. Let's see, we haven't weeded in a while. We have some cauliflower up here in the greenhouse. This was more because I just didn't have any more room in the garden. And we like cauliflower, but we don't love it. So I just planted a few up here and I think that will be a good amount for us. Right here, we planted, Lyra and I planted, uh, ca uh, not cabbage, <laughs> we planted kohlrabi. And that's been a big time favorite in our family with doing like stir fries. And then I also, if we have enough of it, I have a recipe that uh, my uncle actually puts, takes them and cuts, slices them, and puts them in an ice cream bucket, like a salt brine almost. And then down here, we have celery that we planted in here. 
and nothing's come up yet. And then we got spinach, we just clipped all this off. Over here in the corner, we got uh, the carrots, and then we have more radishes, and then I planted a cabbage, and then this is a broccoli, and then three of our king peppers. So these are the ones we have in here so we can save the seeds for next year. And then we have two marigolds and that tomato plant that already went through all the cold weather when we got down to eight below or eight degrees. Eight degrees outside and it got to, was it 22 or 25 in here? I have to look in the book. Those tiny, teeny tomatoes, probably about this tall that are in our garden, were planted by seed at the same time as this one. So this one is doing really, really well in here. So then what's this, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> I planted some broccoli in here. We can just not get enough broccoli. And I probably will plant more broccoli if it holds out throughout the season or maybe kind of towards the fall. Um, if I can plant some more broccoli in here, I will definitely do that. Got a few red onions in here, just kind of trying different spots to see how they grow. And more of those king peppers. These ones are planted later. The seeds were started at the same time. The plant, they are planted at the same time. Same pepper. Seed. Fine. Yep, seed. And I just put these in the ground Maybe before. Two weeks sooner. Yeah, I think it's two weeks before. And here's all our lettuce. We have not even planted I planted a little bit of the heirloom lettuce we had bought in the house in a window box and that didn't hold up for too long. We did eat off of it, but it didn't hold up for too long in there. But we have some butter crunch lettuce and some romaine lettuce that we planted from seed. As you can tell, we've been picking off of it and eating it just about every day, if not every day. And it's that's been a lifesaver for us. We have not found ourselves going to the grocery store hardly at all because our greens are our veggies. Hopefully I can get that heirloom lettuce in here soon, but I'm gonna plant all of these kind of older seeds first. And I did plant some iceberg lettuce seeds right kind of in this area. They're just starting to come up. There was one day I snuck out here. I was just bored and I was, it was a late night the night before, got up early, and I just wanted to come out and check on the greenhouse, water everything. And I had a cucumber plant that was starting to flower. And I'm like, it's a bushy cucumber. It can grow in here, it's not gonna take over. Well, guess what? Look at this thing. It's just flowering all over. And what is that? Yeah, that's right. I bet you we're the first ones in Minnesota to get cucumbers. Maybe not, but it's still pretty cool. And sorry for the noise, the AC is running. It's 85 to 87, somewhere in there. So. Right outside our greenhouse is our rhubarb plant and we planted this plant pretty much when we moved in uh, about a decade ago and it is doing well. It's always done pretty well out here. It catches a lot of the rain from the top of the house. It's starting to go to seed already. So I'm going to be harvesting the end of the rhubarb pretty soon. We've had rhubarb cake, rhubarb dessert quite a few times already. So I'll probably be freezing that so we don't let it go to waste. And I would love to plant more because that rhubarb, that is just awesome. I made an arch, I cut down a branch, you can see it right here, and I put it in on the post to keep them separated because remember how when I put this post in, I was saying I need another post over here because this is my hinge side, this is where all the movement comes from. So instead, I put an arch with a curved branch so now it holds it apart for the gate. Now we're going to show you the garden. Matt put up two trellises for us to walk under and the cucumbers are planted down below. These are a pickling cuke and they're an heirloom cucumber. So hopefully we can save some seeds from these guys. Over in the corner of the garden, we have our potato bed. Nothing's sprouting yet, but hopefully we'll get some potatoes popping up soon. Over here, I planted two tomato plants right down there. And then we have uh, a row of pepper plants here. And then this whole row here along this fence, all the way down to that apple tree is all sunflowers. And we do that every year. So yeah. figure we gotta keep it going. 
And ever since, and that's what our whole journey was from the bees, is because ever since we started doing that, we started getting better um, harvest from our plants because it brought in so many pollinators. So. These peppers right here are a smaller pepper, kind of like a bell pepper, but a smaller version. I think we call them a lunchbox pepper. And then here we got, we have all these pepper plants. These are the ones we planted all the way down in this row. We put these cages over them just so the kids wouldn't step on them. And then right next to it, we have a row of onions all the way down here. And you can see right from here to right about here is where the kids like to walk through before we put the cages over it all. So those are all gone. Oops. And then we have another row of peppers all the way down. These peppers are bell peppers. So these, yep. this first smaller row are the king um, bell peppers. And then these, I'm not sure what variety are, but they're a bell pepper and these are yellow onions. Yep, these are, these are all yellow onions. And then over here, we have just a, like a plant threw up area. <laughs> I it's planted a it all. A determinate tomato. So it's all tomato plants along here. And then we have the sunflowers in the back. And right behind me is a row of tomatillos. All the way down. So that'll be nice. We've never done tomatillos. This is our first year for them. We like salsa verde. We'll like it. And then right behind them, we have a bunch of cabbage plants. And those go all the way down. And then they wrap around down there and we'll show you, they keep going. We wanna keep doing a walkthrough, we'll do it weekly. And uh, we're not gonna hide nothing about the back to Eden Garden. So if you guys have questions, please put it in the comments down below and let us know. Uh, you, as you can see, there is some weeds like that. But that is entirely my fault because Last fall, I decided to put a bunch of our grass in here. And by putting the grass, a thick layer of grass in here, and then I didn't come back with wood chips, I brought a bunch of seeds in. So throughout the summer, I'm just gonna add uh, a light layer of wood chips, probably two inches. So then it, but by doing the grass, why I did it is because of the nitrogen to help boost up the nitrogen. Right next to these cabbages, we left a little space to walk in to our strawberry bed and the strawberry plants here were planted one and two years ago. I think we've got a variety of one and two year old plants in here. So we've never really gotten much from our strawberries, but as you can see, there's quite a few blossoms and they're much taller than they've ever been. They've usually been pretty close to the ground. So hopefully that means we're gonna get some strawberries this year. And in the same bed, we've got our blueberry plants. And we have a couple little blueberries starting on those, but nothing too much. Last year we got one blueberry and we planted these the year before when we did get a few off of them. So hopefully we get a few more this year. We have two plants so far in here. This one is doing a little bit better. And we, we also think that we'll get a lot more this year or in the years to come because of the bees. And we think that was another issue from years prior. So we hope that'll help. And we also put um, pine needles around it because they really like acidity soil and this might not be acidic enough. Here's our raspberries and again, these are planted last year and we've never had a single raspberry on them, but they're taking up quite a huge space. You can see some little, oh, not there. You can see some little flowers starting. So I think we're gonna get some raspberries this year, which is gonna be awesome. We definitely have quite a few wild berries along the wood line that will be nice too. This beautiful green thing is our ur, am I pronouncing that correctly, pear tree? Our ur pear tree, and it had a lot of blossoms on it this year. So hopefully we'll get some pears. It also got quite cold after we had blossoms, so I don't know, I'm not really sure. I'm not seeing too much going on, are you Matt? Nope, I don't see a single one. I'd be happy with one. <laughs> this was planted two years ago, so it's in its third year. So let's we'll see what happens. We have an apple tree over here, and we plant it at the same time as the pear, and we've never got an apple off of that one either. But the one up front, that one's packed full. 
Yeah, this little apple tree has been pruned well by our neighborhood deer. So um, it's looking healthy, but no apples forming on it. It's another trellis in the middle of the garden and we have six cucumbers, six of those pickling cucumbers growing up. So we can't wait to see them kind of filling up this space. Also I have a couple zucchini mounds over here and a few more cucumbers along the fence. We have our hot cayenne peppers and our jalapenos over here. We love to use the cayenne to dehydrate it, grind it up, and use it for um, making some spice for any of our dishes. And then, if you guys seen my video where I planted the tomatoes, it actually started raining that day, so I didn't get much footage of me actually digging in the dirt, but I showed you what the soil was like and stuff. These are all the tomato plants. Every one of these trellises have tomato plants, 17 per one, and then I think there was two of them I put one on the end even. So hopefully they all do very well because we do a lot of canning with tomatoes in here. So we have, let's reverse here. Here's the fruit bed, the fruit bed's right here. Cabbage is coming down, and then cabbage right here. And then what is that, Sarah? Uh, well, we planted a row of green beans, and these are a climbing pole type green bean. So we're hoping to harvest, and even if this is just enough to eat fresh, have some beans this year. We did not plant them last year because the year before we had so many, I was kind of sick and tired of picking and <laughs> breaking off the ends. So. It's weird because I'm excited this year for them. So I guess I missed them. When I grew up, I never wanted them. To me, they were the devil. <laughs> Growing up, we had to cut so many green beans. But they fed us forever, but man, my mom, they'd give us those big, big Tupperware bowls and we'd have to sit there and chop the ends off and then cut them in half. And oh, we just hated that. And then going out in the garden and picking them and the mosquitoes are just coming at you. and. Yeah, I just, it ruined me for green beans, but now we're starting to come back to it because we've been eating a lot more of them. And we found a canning recipe that we truly like. We filled in more of our fence with those pickling cucumbers. Pretty much wherever we had open fence space, pickling cucumbers went there. It'll also help with them pesky raccoons. And then it goes back to cabbages. <laughs> cabbages, this whole, there's two rows of it all the way down to the end. Kind of hard to see, they're pretty little yet. And, and then in the back row, we have cucumbers, again, lining up. And you can see there is some weeds. We got a pole, but the wood chips are light back here because this one is, what, the second year we only had wood chips back here, so it's not established. These are the bushy cukes, so they're not supposed to do so much climbing. We're using them more as ground cover to deter um, animals from coming in the garden. We've had a few raccoon scares. Scares, we had two of them come in. <laughs> Not anymore, now that I have that fence up. And we have some broccoli and cauliflower plants planted up here. We have a few more broccoli in the greenhouse, but we wanted some outside, so. And that wraps it up for the garden. All right, so now we're behind the greenhouse. There's a lot of shade. Oh, this feels great over And here. a breeze. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to show you what we planted over here. And we planted three bee boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I think they are a really important part of our homestead though. They really are. They're not to go unnoticed. I am really excited to see how the bees help our plants. If we have a bigger harvest, we noticed lots of berries popping in the woods that we've never seen before. Not like that. So I'm excited to see just kind of what a difference they make for our plants. Some honey wouldn't be bad either. Yeah. And all okay. the good stuff that comes with bees. So, so I don't know. remember what we planted here. <laughs> so we have six little mounds in here. And Matt, you're right. I didn't label these. So I know it's pumpkin and watermelon, but I don't know yeah. where. 
So I planted two hills of pie pumpkin. Then I planted two hills of more like a gourd-like pumpkin that I'm hoping, based on the size it said on the package, that they'll work good for carving this year. And we have always just used regular pumpkin to cook with too. All you have to do is just grind it up in your food processor and it kind of gets to that same consistency of the pie pumpkin. I don't really notice the difference when you add all of your spices and such. And then we have two hills of watermelon. Which two hills are which, I don't remember. Um, but I'm sure we'll be able to tell as stuff starts coming in. Hopefully the rain doesn't wash all this away. We have it on tarp with no covering right now. Thanks for joining us on our very first garden tour. We hope to share these with you weekly. We're excited to see where the summer takes us and our plants. Hopefully they grow. <laughs> hey, if you like this content, why don't you smash that like button, please. And uh, also subscribe. We have plenty more videos coming out and I'm just gonna take you guys along with our life, I guess, and show you what we do. <laughs> and uh, glad you got to see us again. Bye. <laughs> Bye.